Hey guys, good morning. This is the Consummate Outdoorsman. Well, we're out this morning. We're running the trap line. And uh, I wanted to kind of give you a little heads up about what it means to have a commitment to being a trapper and just being in the outdoors here. You know, it's early this morning. It's, it's 7 o'clock. It's dark. Uh, it's raining this morning so hard. But one of the things that I wanted to tell you about was, you know, I want to talk to you about more than anything, is that the commitment that we have as, as trappers and conservationists and things like that, you know, it's a commitment to run your trap line every day. I mean, you have your, of course it's by law, but even if it wasn't by law, I mean, you don't want your animals sitting in that trap, pulling their feet, um, you know, damaging the fur and you know the traps that we have they don't do anything they don't hurt the, they don't hurt the animal they don't break the animal's foot we don't want that so you know even after you do get a catch the thing that that people don't realize is after you catch the animal you dispatch it you take it home then you got to skin it okay then you got to flesh it which means getting all the meat off of the skin the hide then you got to put it on a board stretch it out and then after that then you got to take care of the fur and then you got to take it to a fur buyer so just putting a trap in the ground and running a trap line you know catching the animal all of that that's that's fine but there's so much more to it and then you know with animals like beaver muskrat uh, coon uh, things along that nature you know we eat those animals, and they're, they're for food and sustenance for us. So I'm headed to work this morning um, after the trap line. Didn't get anything in the trap line this morning. But I wanted to take just a few minutes here just to, to talk to you about being a conservationist as a trapper. And a lot of people, you know, I had a, a bobcat in my trap as an incidental before season. I turned it loose. Learned a lot from that. And... When I, when I, when I seen that in there, I thought, how fortunate am I? This year I've caught coyote, I've caught a gray fox and a red fox, which is the first ones I've caught in the state of Michigan. Um, coon, all that, and I've shot deer. But we don't want to decimate any population. That's the biggest thing I think for people that, that think about, oh, you're, you're going to kill off all the animals. No, we don't. Because we want to have a sustainable product that's out there that we can go back to year and year after year and harvest. And, you know, there's some places where we take beaver out and yeah, the beaver have been so bad in some places that they just need to be all completely removed from an area. But there again, you know what's going to happen is otter will move in and take over the beaver lodge or another set of, of beaver will come into the area. So that's the biggest thing I wanted to talk to you about being a conservationist is conserve and take care of your environment. Take care of what you're out there. You know, there's a leave no trace behind is out there. But for me, it's more than just leaving no trace behind. It's, I want to make sure that I take care of the, the, the woods, the, the environment. Pick up the trash if you see it, okay? Um, don't sit there and, and just walk by, oh, that's not mine, that's not my problem. Look at these people. Pick it up, clean it up. Take care of what God's given to us. And then when you get done with your trap set, you know, make it back as natural as possible so that there's no indication that, that you were there. So, hey, this is the Consummate Outdoorsman. Uh, run a trap line 2015, but just want to talk to you just briefly this morning about being a conservationist. Hey, take care of your environment. Take care of what God's given to us. Talk to you later.